Hey everybody, today I am going to show you an updated skincare routine. I was gonna say simplified, and maybe it is simplified. Um, it's kind of simplified, even though there's multiple products, but I'm gonna talk to you about that today. And um, I've started to use honey, I think today is day six, maybe day seven. So it's a semi first impression honey, washing face with honey video. But real quick, I wanted to talk to you about my hair because I'm going today to get my hair trimmed and I haven't decided if I should color it. Um, I love being blonde. That's just like, that fits me and fits my personality really well. And then over the summer, I decided to do like the ombre thing because I don't know, I wanted to try it and I wanted to like let my natural hair grow out. And in all honesty, like I don't, I don't know. I don't know like if I'll ever be able to just stay my natural color, which is like a dirty blonde. So this is me coloring my hair obviously. And then the ombre doesn't go as far down because I didn't let my hair grow out long enough before I colored it. So we just started out like coloring the base. You guys have probably seen it in videos before when I first did it. Um, so how can I show you here real quick? So my natural hair color, it doesn't show up on video. When I'm looking in the camera right now, it all looks really dark, but really like it's this here is like a, like a dark blonde, I guess, but I can definitely see it when I hold my hair up like where, so this was when I colored, or this is the blonde, and then this is where they colored it with the brown color, and then my, my natural hair is growing in. And in the front, it's a lot lighter, but in the back, it's darker. So I don't know, I know that hairstylists have told me that I probably wouldn't like my natural hair color because it would be like a mousy color. And I don't know if that's true or if they just don't want me to stop being their client. But here, like it's, I don't think it's mousy. Like I think that it's like a nice, like dark blonde color. In the back it's definitely a lot darker, like in the hair that's underneath is a lot darker. So anyways, I'm trying to let it grow out. I wanna see what it looks like, but again, I don't know that I'll be able to like not be this blonde. But this is how light my hair used to be naturally and then now my hair is just getting darker and darker. And then again, like I don't know how much it'll naturally lighten in the summer because I haven't had my natural hair color in a long time. So I don't know. And then I get itching to do something like fun. I used to have like really light hair like this and then I dyed it pink and I had like pink streaks and I really like that look. And sometimes I'm like, maybe I should do that again. But then my daughter would look at me like I was crazy. And then she'd probably ask if she could dye her hair pink. So anyways, to get to the actual topic of the video, I started washing my face with honey. And in going, like trying to go more natural with my products, there's certain things that I feel like you have to get over mentally where you have to kind of change your way of thinking and kind of forget the old stuff that you've been taught. Like you would think if you have oily skin, you don't want to put oil on your skin. Or if you are prone to breakouts, you don't want to put more oil on your skin. And I'm trying to relearn the fact that not oil, all oils are bad. And that's been kind of hard. And then lately I've been breaking out a lot and I didn't know what was causing it. Um, I've started to use the Josie Marin Argan Oil, the Josie Marin Matchmaker Foundation with Argan Oil in it. And then I started using a new um, face scrub by Acure. And I started to break out and I thought, well, is it one of those? And is it the Argan Oil? So I stopped putting Argan Oil on my chin and started washing my face with honey and it's clearing up and I'm still getting like little breakouts little like whiteheads I guess and I don't really know what exactly is causing it but um, I have noticed that with what I've been doing the last week my skin has gotten a lot better I have tried removing my makeup with a face makeup remover wipe whatever and then the last few days I've also tried removing my makeup with coconut oil and I'm just using the Trader Joe's brand right now and I'm not a hundred percent sure how I feel about this I think it's great for my for removing my eye makeup although it does kind of leave like that film so you really got to wipe it off but for um, the face I don't feel like it's taking off all of my makeup so um, like I I'm still trying to figure out 
the best way to remove my makeup without having to use um, like a face remover. I guess, I mean, if I have to use face removing cloth, whatever, I'm just trying to go as natural as I can get. So once like I rinse it off, I mean, I kind of like I can only rinse it off so much. I still feel kind of a residue. Um, I use the honey and I just have a little bit of water on my face and then I take some of the honey and I rub that all over my face and then I let it sit for a minute or two. I mean, there have been a couple times where I've just like rinsed it off, but I try to let it sit um, and I'll like brush my teeth or something. And it does like it's solid. It's a solid honey and it smells so good. And oh, it smells so good. But I got this off of Vitacost and it's YS Eco Bee Farms Raw Honey. And that is what is important. It does need to be pure, unpasteurized, unfiltered, like this, a solid honey. And um, I just take, I use a spoon. I don't um, stick my hands into the jars. I want to keep them um, free of bacteria. So I use a clean spoon and I scoop it out and rub that on my face. I try to let the honey sit and then I rinse that off. And the honey, it does rinse off really well, especially like on the days that I haven't used the, the coconut oil. When this rinses off, my face feels really clean. Um, last night I used the coconut oil to remove my face makeup and then I used this and I could still kind of feel like that oiliness and so that I'm not sure about if um, if you what do you use to remove your makeup let me know in the comments below what you use or if you do use coconut oil like is it okay to have the oiliness on there I think like I'm just getting really nervous about like the whole breakout of my chin thing so I try to really keep that area clean so I do those two things and then I pat my face dry and I always use a clean um, towel I have like a set of towels that I bought face towels and then I just pat my face dry and I don't dr like dry it completely to where it's like super super dry I want a little bit of moisture on it and then I use a couple drops of the Josie Marin 100% pure argan oil and um, I'm liking it. It is really expensive and I feel like I've been going through it very quickly. I've only been using it for a couple weeks and I'm almost out. So I don't know if I'm using too much, but I feel like when I only use like two drops, it doesn't, like I don't feel it on my skin. So maybe that's something where I'm not supposed to feel it, but like I kind of put it on and then it doesn't feel like I'm able to spread it out. So that's why I use like three or four drops. And I just put this like on my forehead, my nose, and my cheeks, chink, my cheeks, uh, my my cheeks, and then I leave like my jaw and chin area free of this, and then I put on a thin layer of the Rainwater Botanicals Healing Salve, and because this is where I'm breaking out, like at first I would just like, I was kind of like donning it on, but then like because I started to break out more, I just kind of put a thin layer um, over that entire area and my skin has been really clearing up since I've been doing that so I leave that area free and then because I like I said I don't feel like an intense moisture surge with just the argan oil I have been using I can't believe that I still have this in the packaging I got this in the summer and I keep putting it back in the box because I just I don't know I like putting it in the box it's the 100% pure brightening night balm and um, I put this over the same areas that I put the argan oil and again I leave the chin area free and for my under eyes I use the 100% pure coffee bean caffeine eye cream and then just under the eye area and that is the night routine and then in the mornings I still haven't broken the whole washing the face in the mornings because I, I feel like my face is clean so that really might be what the problem is and um, but the couple days that I did wash my face in the morning I have used my um, Blissoma cleanser and so I still really do like those cleansers I know that I've raved about them and I still love them but I am trying to like simplify it and be as economical too because this I can't remember a hundred percent but I think this was only like ten dollars and my Blissoma cleanser is 26 so I've been using that in the mornings and then I um, like always use the Solar Protective Moisture and SPF 30 to put that on my face and moisturize. And I do put a couple of drops. Um, I was I did have like the Tarte Marahuka uh, oil and I would put like a drop or two in this to like make it feel more moisturizing. And I 
you know, I don't know if that makes my makeup melt off faster or not, but I just like to do that. And then every second to third day, or if my skin like just really feels like it needs it, I use the brightening facial scrub from Acure, and this is the seaweed something something argan stem cell plus chlorella growth factor. Um, I've been using this to kind of help help with the dryness of my skin. And like I said, unless my skin really needs it. Um, the next day I usually go two to three days I can just you know you can kind of feel it on your skin when your skin needs a nice um, exfoliant so I don't use this every day unless it's like a dire situation so those what am I using here one two three four five six six <laughs> that's not very simplified is it uh, six products well but I don't know I feel like it's a lot more natural than I have that, that I've ever been. I mean, using honey, that was a big step. I, I had the jar for a little bit before I did it, and finally I was like, you know what? I wanna do this, like I wanna try it. Um, and I do feel like my skin is doing better. I just need to figure out what's happening here. Um, but yeah, I do feel like my skin is clearing up, and I'm excited to see um, what changes the longer I do it. And also making sure that I take care of myself from the inside out because that's also going to reflect on my skin. I haven't been drinking enough water lately and I absolutely know it. I can tell because my body feels gross and um, my skin reflects that. So I'm going to be trying to do that and also eating better I think will also help. But just like topical wise, this is this is what I'm using and I feel like there has been improvement. So let me know what you are using for your skincare and if you have any tips on um, removing makeup with coconut oil or I think some people use jojoba, ho <laughs> some people use jojoba oil um, and I haven't tried that yet. So I'd be interested to hear uh, how you're doing it and what works for you. And um, as things change, I'll probably make another video. Like I said, I'm, I'm in like that experimental phase on trying to figure out um, what is working for me. So I hope that you all are doing well and I will talk to you soon. Bye.